So I had the pleasure to present as well uh, a study that it was a collaboration with the UCLA team, was led by Dr. Ida Sony and uh, uh, Jeremy, Dr. Jeremy Kelle and, and Amar Kishan. For, for patients who have salvage radiation to the prostate bed, uh, which is a potentially curative for patients with biochemical recurrence after prostatectomy, and it's probably the only uh, uh, option for curative treatment if these patients fail a, a, a surgery, uh, is to treat the prostate bed with radiation. And we use guidelines, um, consensus guidelines, that are based on expert opinion without taking into consideration patterns of failure uh, based on more modern uh, uh, imaging te uh, technologies like PSMA. PSMA is being increasingly used in, pro in, in patients with biochemical recurrence after prostatectomy. So what we did, we uh, radiation oncologists, uh, they contour the prostate bed on the CT component of the PET scan, blinded to the PSMA PET component. And then nuclear medicine physicians, they contour the recurrence on the PSMA component of the, of the PSMA PET scan um, in order to assess whether the RTOG consensus guideline, the volumes recommended by this consensus were, uh, uh, was covering the, all the lesions, right? So basically we wanted to document where these lesions occur and uh, if the current consensus guidelines cover all these lesions. And, uh, and then uh, we defined where this lesion was fully inside, partially covered or fully outside of the CTV. So we had a very interesting figure in terms of a heat map of the location of these lesions. Most of these lesions occur posteriorly and inferiorly um, uh, of the CTV. And there's a very interesting part that we usually give radiation where no recurrences have been observed. So that's interesting because probably you are over-treating some of these areas and under-treating because there were 13% of the lesions that were outside of the CTV. So um, I think this is a very important information for a possible uh, a, a redefinition of the contouring guidelines, and, and uh, therefore probably the goal then is to uh, improve the therapeutic ratio for these patients.